Uh, you're here on a great night. And by the way, thank you very much for being here. Did you see the high jumping dogs? Yeah, hysterical. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any dogs? I have a dog. I, I have a 180-pound mastiff. Whoa, man, alive. That's an enormous animal. Yeah, yeah. His name's Roman. He wasn't, he wasn't always 180 pounds. Uh-huh. He, he was a puppy at one time. Right. <laughs> Believe it or not. And I, I thought it, was, it would be a cute idea to take him to a, a press junket. Right. A press junket is when you're doing interviews about the movie and there's people from all over the country. Tons of people yeah. all, all over Reporters, the world. Reporters, TV, newspaper, yeah. And this was for the Hollywood Farm Press. Mm -hmm. And my do I was holding my little puppy. And the head of the Hollywood Farm Press, who, they're the ones who decide who gets a Golden Globe, mm. came up to my dog to pet my little, cute little Roman. What was it? A Roman, yeah. Yeah, little, cute little puppy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the dog bit her on the nose. Whoa. <laughs> So, of course, I'll never get a Golden yeah, say Globe. Goodbye. <laughs> say goodbye to the Golden Globe. It's over. Same it's over. thing happened to me one night. We do that stupid Petrix, you know? Uh -huh. We had a guy with a ferocious, a ferocious wild a dingo dog on the show. No. And, and the dog just chewed my face off. <laughs> Honestly, God. Chewed, here, we got it on videotape. Take a look. Watch this. Just chewed Hello, my... Hello, doggy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Awful? Oh, God, that's cruel. <laughs> the hazards. Yeah. Now, listen, I want to ask you about that. Uh, was I right about this? You spent some time in your early career as a, as a, as a bouncer. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, what does that mean exactly? What do you do? Well. <laughs> you, you have to be like the toughest guy in the bar, don't you, if you're you, the bouncer? You're supposed to be. Right. You're supposed to be. Um, I was a bouncer uh, for nine years in New York City. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, at first, it was a wonderful job because I loved to go out so much <laughs> in the city, and I was getting paid to get to go out. Right. Of course, the novelty wore off real quick. Um, but they pay. I thought I was making a lot of money when I was getting paid twenty-five extra dollars to uh, roam the neighborhood and take tickets from scalpers. Mm -hmm. Now, can you? Is that legal? You can't. I don't legal. think it's legal. It's not legal. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. No, you didn't hear it here. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not dig up any old no, you know, all right. illegal activities. Yeah. Uh, but now, when you, when you do this kind of stuff, what if you're not the toughest guy in the bar? Um, well, I wouldn't. I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding. Uh, I don't know what happens. I, I guess you don't. I, but now, I is guess it a you're fight? Are you in a long. fight every damn night when you're a bouncer? If, if you work at some clubs, you, 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 you fight every night. Yeah. Like I said, the novelty wears off. I would think so. <laughs> and, and in addition to bouncing Are people. Are you thinking about. Yeah, changing careers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I'm thinking okay, about. I yeah. get it. Yeah. Uh, but but when, in, in addition to, to fighting people and throwing people out, you also, uh, you're the guy out front who, who decides who gets yes. in. Yes. Now, which, how, it takes how do you do a that? A great deal of diplomacy. Yeah. Um, you dress warm, and uh, you you basically open up the stanchions, the, the rope, right. or whoever the door person says to let in. It's well, a so weird system. You don't make the decision. You don't. You're not the final arbiter. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. So you really don't have that kind of power, then. You're do just you? a thug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A glorified thug. And, 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 and while you were being a bouncer, were you also uh, going out auditioning on stuff? I, the reason why I was bouncing is because I was auditioning during the daytime. Mm -hmm. well, what kind of things would you go out for? Anything and everything. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I walked by the Ed Sullivan Theater a thousand times right. trying to get work uh -huh. <laughs> as an actor, going up to the SAG office and looking on the bulletin board for any kind of audition for extra work. Do you remember an early thing that actually worked out, an early job that you got? <sighs> uh, I did the Toy Fair. Ah, they have it uh, over at the Javits Center every year now? That's yeah, right. right, and it was a big deal. Yeah. Because the $2,000 lasted me for six months. Wow, and, and <laughs> what, what, what did you do at the Toy Fair? I was doing, um, oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> uh, I was doing the Shark Man display. Uh -huh. <laughs> good gig, my yeah. heavens. Yeah. Too grand for that. That's uh -huh. pretty good. Yeah. So how did you become Vin Diesel from whatever Mark Vincent? Well, it's a long story. Yeah. Uh, 
But uh, imagine if everyone called you Letterman and then shortened it and called you Let. Right. Just, yo, Let, what's I up? Think, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what they did. They called me Vin. Right. And then... But the diesel, where, where did that come from? The diesel came in from bouncing. Wow. Because you don't want anyone to know your real name when you're bouncing. Ah, oh, I understand. Anything can happen. Yeah, yeah that's right. You follow me? For legal reasons, yes. <laughs> you don't want people to know. Okay. Now, now I, I want to show a clip of the movie here in a second, but before we show a but clip... But I like Mark Vincent. It's great, isn't you it? You can keep it. <laughs> Thank you. But I like it. Thank you, Vin. You got it? Yeah, just call me Mark. I like it. All right, yeah. I, I want you to give us one... <laughs> one bouncing tip. Okay. What, what was your one move that you knew that would always work when you were in trouble in a bar as a bouncer? W w the one move that you always went to? But, and don't hurt me. Uh, you, you, well, one tip was to never have your hands in your pocket. Uh, right, right, yeah. Um, and the other tip was to, to talk as much as you could. Uh -huh. Try to settle things down. With diplomacy, yeah. as much as you could. Right. But the second you thought that it was going to get physical, lead with the right. Lead with the right. <laughs> and just launch a guy? Is that what you're Do trying to do? whatever you got to put it all on the right. <laughs> no jabbing. Oh, no, man, you is know. that good. Lead with the right, Paul. Did you hear that? Uh, Mark Vincent here. Yeah, Boy, all right. Yeah. Fine. I hear you. Let's go.